Hi everyone, this is Mike Makers from MakersMiration.net. So welcome back for the part 2 of the 3D printed walking robot. So last time uh, I showed you how to build some parts of the robot. Today we continue on this and uh, we draw the parts that are here today. So here we got this cylinder. So we draw it on FreeCAD like we did last time. And we also build the, the chassis for the robot. And we also have this part here with this hole in it and uh, this, this different type of hole here. So we draw all this to have our 3D printed working robot be functional. And the only mechanical part, uh, um, electrical part, will be this one. This is a DC model, so it will, it will, it works with a um, six volt. So uh, complicated to do. So after that, we we finish the fully design part of the robot, and we start with um, the assembling part. So I make a video for that. So here we go. Let's start with the fully, the free card part. So you can go here. And you go to part design and after that you go to file that new project so um we start by doing the the small cylinder we saw before so let's create a sketch you go in this one and it has you to sketch orientation you choose xz plane so let's go for this and after that you look for the cylinder create a circle sorry create a circle just like this and we try to put it at the at the origin so let's select both of them the, the middle of the circle and the middle of the, of the origin and we click on this let's go here let's go back here so we need to go to this and we need uh, we want a, a 10 millimeter di diameter for for our circle so we go to this and choose fix the radius the value is going to be 5 and we have a 10 millimeter diameter. So let's zoom in with our mouse scroll, scroll in, scroll out, close it. And let's go to extrusion here and we extrude it with 15 millimeters. Good point to start. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Looks like this. So as I say, I want to see the origin. We go here and toggle axis cross so we can see the origin here. There we go. So now let's choose a um, let's choose a face and let's draw a sketch on it. As I say, I want to make a hole in the middle. So I go here. Let me draw this, and I want the size to be four millimeters of diameter. So it's gonna be uh to send two millimeters for the radius. There we go, let me select both of them and have it in, in the middle. So that's it. Please on close. Let me uh, then we go on pot pocket here to have it make a hole for all of it. So we choose just this one. For all. And we click on OK. So we finish the, the first one gonna be like this so after that you, you you need to save it you go to save as so let me go there part two I call it cylinder cylinder F C S T D for free card and we also need it as a as an STL to be able to print it tomorrow or later as you want so we select the object we go to file export we call it cylinder like this, you'll be able to to have it as an STL extension and print it, and be able to fully print it tomorrow. Now we're gonna create this UV part. Uh, it's gonna be the chassis. There we go. go new. Uh, XZ as usual. And let's start with that. So we go with this one. Just like this, we try to have it at the origin. 
going to be like this. So we want a length of 120 millimeters. So we, we should uh, this, this icon here to fix uh, the length. So 120 as we said. And we want a height of 3.5 millimeter. There we go. We go here, let's call here. And we choose this icon for the length of for the height. It's gonna be 3.5 millimeters. There we go. Now, now we're here. We need to, to draw the part at the bottom. So, we go here. Try to do it like this. We select it like this. Don't worry, we, uh, we fix that in a second. There we go, like this. There we go. And we go like this. And to remove the part in the middle here, select it like this. And we click on that. Uh, it's removed. So now let's give some dimension to our things. Oh, um, let me go back to the sketch. I want this to be 10 millimeters. I click on it, beacon screen, and I go to the fixed uh, length for the horizontal part. I want it to be 10 millimeters. So we go like this. I want um, the angle between this and this to be 110 degrees. So I go here, you select this icon, ask you for, for the other angle, I put 110. Alright. This is asking me for, I want this to be 20, 20 millimeters. Choose here, choose this icon, and you put 20. There we go. 20. Oh, we have some to change here. Let me control Z. Change control Z. I, I change that, that for you guys. Forget to put. Let me put 3.5 millimeters in. That's why we change. 3.5 millimeters. Now everything is fixed, so we can do that. So let's put that one for 20 mm 20 millimeters. 20. And this one for 22. 20 millimeters. There we go. We are set for this. Let's let make this more readable. Let's put that here. It's a bit further off. This one here. 3.5 millimeters here. And now I want to put a circle here, a hole for, for our project. So we go here. We look for a circle. And we do a circle. I want I want this one to be uh, four millimeters of di diameters, so it's gonna it should be two millimeters for the radius. So we go here. Now you know already how to do that. Two millimeters it should be like this. Now let's put some parameters like that. It gonna move. So the distance between this and this should be uh, five millimeters. That's just what I I should I should. You can choose whatever you want. So it can move when I when I'm moving the all different parts around. So between this and this, five millimeters between this and this. So the height it should be seven millimeters. Seven millimeters. Oh, oh, not seventy-eight. Seven. Seven millimeters. So there we go. But like this. So we can close the sketch now. So now I can just um, use the extrusion and you see what, what I'm gonna do. And I want an extrusion of 30 millimeters, so you can you can have it as big as you want. For me to start, I want it at 30. Let's go for 40 millimeters. I want it at 40 millimeters. There we go. But now, don't forget, I need I need a, a space between the two legs, just right here. So how can we do that? So we just turn 
object here we select let me show you this face here and we go to create a new sketch like this so we go there now and we choose this icon to create a rectangle here and we're gonna have it like this there we go so since we choose um, 40 millimeters so we choose the length of this one of 30 millimeters there we go 30 millimeters and uh, this one, distance between here and here of 5 millimeters okay we are set here okay that's that's done the distance between this and this change this one of zero so that's it so we go nowhere and this as soon as uh, it goes through all of this you can you can say uh, let's see what it goes okay let's do 24 should be alright now we're gonna make a um, protrusion make uh, a pocket so it will it will go through all of this you can see it will go through all of this and remove all the materials here so we can close it now we go to pocket this icon just right just right here okay we may have we may have a mistake here let me see what we got what a mistake what is a mistake Let me close it and see how it goes. Okay, let's say go through all. So, can you see the, the result, guys? So, this is the chassis we had before. So, please like the project, share it with you, with your friends, share it on, on your social media. And uh, also subscribe to, to the channel, guys. So I'll be happy to answer your question if you have any question on FreeCAD or other things, on electronics, 3D printing, or whatever is going on. Please let me know in the comments. See you soon.